Okay, so today we're gonna to play Terminator Dawn of Fate. I got my brother here. We're gonna talk about uh, a topic I kind of already kind of started on the last video. Um, we're gonna talk about our Terminator TV show that we uh, kind of glossed over a little bit in the last one. So we'll play this, and Dave didn't get to tell his portion. So uh, I guess go ahead, Dave. What was your uh, uh, side of the Terminator story? Well, first, first, if, if I had the uh, capability, I would like to change um, Dark Fate. Uh, they they had the right direction, but poorly, poorly executed. Uh, like John Connor getting shot, I would I'd leave it. It'd be part. It's perfect. Um, you know the it showing the new thing that got taken out, you know Legion. Yeah, that, that that's a, that that was a really good direction. You know, but if I was to, to alter it, I pretty much would have left the movie. You know, like you know, add a little bit more more to it, and you know. Like, um, it just shows them at the bar and John Connor getting drinks for him and his mom or whatever. But, uh, I think they should have did a lot more than just that. You know, they... I don't think they should have killed John Connor off at all. Well, my, my thing is, 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 it was a good execution there. And that, that was, I would keep that in, but what I'm saying is I'm not saying... Then John Connor is dead. Okay. Now, I go on with the movie. The girl came through. To, you know that was you know super enhanced or whatever. And you know she was going after the the the, the, the squeaky girl. And uh, you know go, go through all that. And as she's going through this, you know, I'm playing as John Connor. That's why there's two of them on screen. Uh, so. Change the skin? Yeah, you could do that in, in the cheap menu. Uh, you play as Kyle Reese, man. Why? Oh, you... I'll fucking change it. No, but you're, you're messing up the story. No, man. not John, this. John this Connor fun. sent John Connor to go get it all. Hey, it is possible in in timeline things, and the microphone just peaked right there when it hit. I have to edit that out. They're knocking on heaven's door. <laughs> <clears throat> but back to what I was saying. I let John Connor be shot. And throughout the movie, you would hear the girl talk about JD. And everybody would be like, well, who the hell is JD? And, and now when it shows the future with the, the pipsqueak girl that was always, you know, squeaky, uh, shows that she saved the, whatever her name was, I can't remember. Danny. What? Name's Danny. Now, Danny is the one that saved, saved the, um, the, um, the, the girl that becomes a, uh, Enhanced. I can't remember. Grace. Yeah, that's a Grace. Man. <laughs> We're off to a bad start. It, it's, it, it was it was that bad. That, that's why I can't remember. But I think they could have did a little bit of things like uh, like make because in the old, in the trailers and everything, they just referred to everybody having a full name except for Grace. I, I was expecting the entire movie for her last name to be Reese. Well, you know, her to be like Kyle's older sister or something. That's about because they showed a little boy playing with her. Yeah. In in the playground, I was like, man, I was just waiting for that uh, reveal for her to be a Reese. You know, it would have made like would have kind of brought everything together. Yeah, but then you know, Kyle Reese wasn't Mexican. You well, know? What does that mean? What does that do? Well, I'm just saying, that if it was his older sister, you know, then no, I'm talking about Grace. Oh, uh, Grace. So. Yeah. Well, the girl Danny was a Mexican girl. I thought you. No, were I was talking. No, I that would make it unless he was adopted or something. But no, it didn't make any sense that way. But it, like Grace being uh, Kyle Reese's uh, sister. Well, what I was saying was I let the movie start and, and keep going through, through and through. You know, because exactly. basically the real deal is people are just tired. They're not tired of Arnold. He's, he's the Terminator, no, no matter what. 
They can CGI make them look young as we saw in Genesis. Yeah. You know, so Arnold's not the problem. The problem is that people are tired of seeing this shit in modern time. They want to see the future. Yeah. So what I would have did with Dark Fate, I wouldn't have killed John Connor. I would have had John Connor go out the same way. And then throughout the movie, everybody thinks John Connor's dead. And throughout the movie, Grace is always mentioning about, you know, the leader, you know, J.D. You know, J.D. told us to do this, and J.D. told us to do that. J.D.'s the one who sent me. And then, you know, when I was going back to uh, the point to where it was uh, Danny, showing where she was uh, supposedly now a badass and saves Grace when she was young back in the future, you know, you know she would walk out and you know, she makes a whistle. And, you know, all this, you know, soldiers pop up, and then in the farther background, you know, a guy pops out. You can't see him, you can't make him out who he is. He whistles and says, all right, come on, we got to move out. And then, you know, continue on with the movie, mm -hmm. not thinking anything. Everybody's thinking, okay, John Connor's dead, this ain't going to be good, this, this ain't good at all. Well, once, once Grace goes out, we're, we're getting to the end now. And where I would have done a different ending was I would have it to where Arnold's still walking and, and he's just really damaged. He's got his arm messed up, his whole half of his face and half of his body's all gone away, whatever. Uh, <clears throat> and I'm kind of jumping around here, but I'm, I'm going to pause that, that scene right there and go back towards like in the middle where you get to find, or towards the end there, you get to find out where it goes off into a hospital and you find that John Connor is in a coma and, and comes out of the coma 30 years later. Uh, uh, 30 and years, and yeah, muscle atrophy and everything. That's what they did to the movie. That's why Sarah Connor was old and everything like that. They, they jumped to 30 years or wherever it was. They, they destroyed, supposedly, uh, Cyberdyne. And that's how we got Legion. You know, Skynet's pretty much was done. And I'm getting to the point though, Arnold and Dark Fate is the last I gotta tell you these camera angles are fucking is is the last Skynet Terminator. The last. And he killed John Connor and Sarah wanted to destroy him. But like I was back I was saying, you find out that John Connor is in a coma in the hospital and he comes out of it. Um they don't have his name, so they call him John Doe, J.D. Yeah. Okay. So as they go, they go on. You know, John finally comes out of it. He's able to move. You know, it shows where he's finally starting to be able to move his body, and you know, get it to go and get sneaks out of the hospital, and he, he tracks down his mom through her watch. He got her like a tracking device that was in her watch. But also because of the news. He goes, you guys are all over the news. So right there at the dam, I'm going back to the part where Arnold, you know, they destroyed the the, the Rev-9. Damn, his camera angles are fucking infuriating. And, and they said, you know, John's like, you know, or the Terminator said, you know, I did that, you know, I, I stepped up and sacrificed myself for John. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, John Connor comes walking out, Eddie Furlong, today, with a, a massive badass shotgun. Well, the 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 dot, fix it. <clears throat> with the with a, with a like a badass shotgun, um, possibly with some kind of chemical rounds or something, and uh, comes out and, she, and he yells, "Mom!" And she goes, "Oh my God, John!" And then all of a sudden, Arnold turns around and reactivates and becomes the evil Terminator. But he, and he doesn't have a weapon. Mm -hmm. And this is where John Connor ends Skynet, making it to where they end Arnold Schwarzenegger from being the Terminator anymore. Yeah. That would be a closure. You know, and then the movie goes on and shows, you know, they see Grace playing in the field and they got Danny with them now. And here you come to find out that John Connor's still the leader of the resistance under JD, which we all know now is John Connor. Mm -hmm. uh, Danny's one of the lieutenants. And the next movie is really easy. 
And I, I kind of wanted to try and go in that direction, but I, I was like thinking, you know, I really believe that they need to come up with a TV show and build a series franchise. Series franchise. Br bring back the franchise. Breathe new life back into the franchise. And it's like, I wish I could talk to James Cameron, but I'm nobody. You know, I'm just, you know, your everyday Joe. And, uh, but I would love to do like eight to ten episodes, which I already have written like about four, about three or four good episodes. And it's basically, uh, the episode starts out, they're in a factory, you can see them from a distance out, you can tell it, you know, it's John and, and Sarah, but you can't see the, the, the camera's not close enough to, to recognize that it's them for budget purposes, so you, you can have actors that resemble them play the role. And you show, it, it, I'm, I'm gonna just talk to you about the pilot. Mm -hmm. So this way you can start to you know, develop, you know, you'll see where I'm gonna take you. Well, the pilot I have where they're, they're at the factory, you know, and Sarah and John are looking down, they can hear all the cops and everybody come, fire department coming for the still mill. And it shows them, you know, camera backing out, and, and then, you know, running off, and then the camera's backing out, it, show, it shows the way down the street, you know, cops and, and the ambulances are all coming and they're off in the corner, because, you know, it's panned out far enough that you can see where John and then got a car and drove off. And all of a sudden, everybody shows up at the, the factory, still mill, and, uh, you know, then it cuts off from there, it goes right over to John and, uh, so John and Sarah in the truck, and they're driving south to go meet up with Enrique. Yeah. You know, they meet up with him, and you know, he, he's like, you know, he bandages up Sarah Connor. They talk about the shit that they did, what's coming, what, what we hopefully they stopped. But uh, this one, he, he, this game has not aged very well at all. No, it's uh, it's horrible. I was watching the, uh, the uh, like I said, I was watching the cutscene videos, all the, all the cutscenes. I was skipping over the cutscenes, but I'm talking about the gameplay, like it just, it, it wouldn't be so bad, like there's a first person cheat, like you can stay like this the whole time, and I mean, I guess in some ways that would be kind of nice, but it's like they don't have, it, it's just, like the third person would have been cool if they just was stuck in one fucking direction, it's not... Like, you can't do fixed camera angles like this, because, like, normally in, in Resident Evil, like, there's tank controls where, you know, up is forward at all times, and it's like, every time it changes, it reorients. I know we're going to be jumping all over the place here, but back to what you were saying when you talked about uh, Terminator Salvation, why I liked it the most was because it had that same vibe and same movements and everything as Gears of War. Yeah. Where you duck it down and you move it. So, the game... Yeah, so yeah. Terminator Salvation, the game. That was really cool because you were able to move around just like you do with Gears of War. It was, it was the, the camera was fixed on you, you got to move around. I mean, it was really, really cool. Uh, now, okay, back to where I was saying, the pilot. Now, you know, as you know, Sarah's getting patched up and she's just talking and it goes off. And then it goes through the, back to the factory. And it shows the FBI showed up, and they they're, they they see the surveillance cameras that they show the two Terminators fighting, and you know what's going on, how they got destroyed, they they got to see everything, and the first person they contacted was the head of Cyberdyne. Cyberdyne wasn't fully destroyed in, in my story. Cyberdyne still exists. Uh, what they did in my story is they just made Skynet change the dates. Everything now is, is prolonged. Instead of 1997, the bombs came. Now everything is is all pushed pushed ahead now because of the destruction of Cyberdyne. I remember kind of adding on to that, saying like, you know, any kind of software hardware company will keep detailed backups of important files. Well, Offsite, just in case something like that happened, like, it, especially it's California. It's basically, the, I would yeah, say that, that was just, that was like a lab. This one, 
uh, place that they called, this FBI guy called, they, it was an actual Cyberdyne, like, combat testing facility. Yeah. And that facility would also link together into the first movie, which would make that facility where the first Terminator died in the depressed machine. Mm -hmm. And as he was talking on the phone, they would say, oh, you gotta come down here and take a look. And, you know. We found an uh, arm uh, crushing uh, the gear. <laughs> you know, you know they, they, we found something that you, you had before. And he goes, all right, I'll be right there to get it, to get the arm. And just as he hangs up the phone, he has in the back of the room, uh, the, the rest of the crushed Terminator still in the room. And then you get that that Terminator hardcore like fright music like you know you know whatever just because it shows the Terminator crushed but it's still there and he's actually there trying to uncrush it. He's trying so you're almost like getting this, engineer it. like he's getting to, he's he's building an actual T800. So that means in my story we're gonna have 800s. But oh, instead of like T-800 or T-600s, 400s, whatever like that, we're going to have to start right off the bat with T-800s. They're going to be the, the the base model, and then these next ones are going to be, you know, there's some more futuristic, like, more... I'm saying, more. Well, one, one thing that I, I kind of touched on in mine, uh, that I talked about a little bit in that Salvation video, was like, uh, one thing they did is they stepped on a lot of fans' toes and liked... Terminator 3 and Salvation and Genesis and all that by saying, oh, well, Dark Fate is a direct sequel to 2. And I, I touched on it a little bit, like I said, but mine, it was like, he, John Connor comes face to face with, like, the physical embodiment of Skynet in the future, in the future war, after they blow up the defense grid and... I would probably make that, like, my, of the trilogy, that would be, like, my last... Yeah, well, it, it, my it, it last was film, my last part of the film. Well, how how I wrote it was to be like you know let let the story, you know, end at, at this movie. And how I had it set up was that you know it, it was you no know, hey this this is canon and this isn't. It was everything's canon. Like, was every possibility because Skynet eventually becomes like a quantum computer, so it sees all these different timelines. And it's like you know Skynet tells John Connor he's like hey. Sometimes you win, sometimes I win, but both of us always have a successor, and the war will always continue. So why don't we try something new? And I was gonna have Skynet like download itself into like a, a T-800 body, like, you know, maybe you could have Arnold or Blue Ferrigno or something, you know, make it something cool for a last movie. And then they go back to when, there's T-800s. They they're go not, back to when- They're not supposed to be in here yet. Yeah, they are. It's just you're getting attacked by everything else too. But, uh, yeah, so they go back to, they, they bow travel. So this Terminator that's being controlled by Skynet directly and John go back to right before when humans tried to first shut off Skynet because it only attacked humans because it was, you know, defending itself. And what I was going to do to make an enemy is have, like, any kind of computer system that, oh, shit, I guess I got to watch through this. Oh, no, I guess not. Uh, any kind of computer system, like an operating system, that's anything worth a damn, if it gets compromised or deleted, there's always a backup. So what would happen is that once Skynet downloaded itself into a T-800 body and traveled back in time with John, a more rogue or, or evil or whatever you want to say, like a more reckless version of Skynet, an older version, would take its place, realize what it's doing, and send out not just one Terminator and one Protector, like it all, you know, like that bullshit that happens. It would send like a couple dozen, you know? Yeah. So you'd have John Connor and this Skynet controlled T-800 uh, fighting these, you know, a bunch of things. And then like they would like maybe build a device and you get heroes and, and, and stuff from all different timelines. So you'd have Sam Worthington and, and Christian Bale and you'd have, you know, like all these different versions of John Connor, like the dude that played Terminator 2 in the battle scene that was only there for like 10 seconds, he'd be in there. So that, to, to combat all this shit, to combat, you know, all these different Terminators, you just grab them from all these different timelines. And it's just one big ass battle. And at the end, like uh, this version of Skynet 
uploads its stuff in, a, in its original place. Like it, it plugs the USB in and it becomes the original form of Skynet, even though it's like a quantum computer. And Judgment Day effectively basically is stopped because, you know, now you have a, a neutral version of Skynet there that knows the value of human life and, uh, you know, humans and machines coexist. So there couldn't be a sequel. Well, it would just it would make everything all the timelines merge together. Everything would be canon, and it would end the series off. But to me, that just sounds like a huge clusterfuck. Uh, I mean, every, the whole series. Seems you know, a basically, where, where the direction where I would want to take it is, I would use Dark Fate as the beginning of the new trilogy. Now, how do, how do you, you do this? And what I think people really, really, really want if I could do, if I could make it into movies. This, I was trying to write a series build up the story but my way that I would think what a lot of people would like to see is after Dark Fate's done you know you, you got our, you know John Connor's alive okay the next one now we'll show them when they're older and you know and somehow there's still Terminators coming through and they're, and they're just destroying them. so it'll be a modern time probably within the only like I don't know, 10, 20 minutes of the film, and then it's going to go back. We're going to get to see the other side of Terminator 1. Mm -hmm. We're going to see that, you know, where, you know, we're going to have the future war, or, or I, I might, I might have mixed it in there, but, you know, if I was to just make Terminator 3, Terminator 3 would be, uh, Showing the other sides of Terminator One and Terminator Two, you're, you're, you're going to see, you know, uh, Kyle and, and John Connor destroying the defense grid, and, mm -hmm. and you know, they, they, the first term, Terminator goes through. We already know the story. We we know what happens when he goes through. We're, we're getting to see the whole story on the other side. We're we'll gonna, see a lot. We're going to see the people in the camps. We're going to, you know, we'll, you know, you know, for. Uh, a Frank, or not Frank, um, a Franco Colombo, uh -huh. we would, because he was in the first Terminator, and as a memory to him, you know, we would, I would have him in there, going through that bonker scene, you know, uh -huh. where we, where we get to see the whole future side and and how, it, you know, the Terminator actually got sent, and then how they got it, they smashed the defense grid, and Kyle Reese went through. And then right off the bat, another, you know, we'll, we'll get to see John Connor, what he's planning, what's going on. I'm like, listen to you, I don't even know where the fuck I'm supposed to go. And, <laughs> oh, there we go. Four fuel went down, cool. And then uh, we get to see Terminator 2. We get to see how Arnold was captured and reprogrammed. We find out John Connor was part of the reprogramming. Because he learned to do this, you know, stuff with the, you know, the ATM machines and stuff like that. Well, see, the, the thing is, is that but, you, you can't, you can't really do that because, uh, essentially, the T1000, uh, the Terminator from Terminator One, and Kyle Reese and the Protector were all sent back at the same time because they blew the whole uh, time displacement unit after they sent them through. All right, well, well then whatever, then it's fine, but. You want to see the story of how they got the Terminator. Yeah. You know, how, how they got the T-800. You know, John Connor, you know, programmed the chip because he messed with the chip in the Terminator 2. Mm -hmm. So he knew how to mess with the chips. So he reprogrammed the, the new Terminator and got him to follow him and fight into the thing. And they, they all got sent through at the same time. Like you, like you were saying, and we'll get to see you know them still battling and what's good, what's going on, and you know the future is still going, it's, it's still ongoing, but you know things are th th like there'll be like a rift. I like to see like a, a T1000, like we'll have we even have a Robert Patrick like cameo as like a scientist, and the T1000 like crawls inside of his body and walks him through the time machine because he's liquid metal, he's not living tissue you know so you'd have to like go through with a, with a person inside of a person and i think that'd be kind of cool to you know see that i'm like fucking going backwards i don't know where to i'm like no, I, i'm talking i'm not even paying attention i i think that, <clears throat> and what i like to do is actually try and find a way that the the, the liquid metal robots 
don't ever get creative. You know, they find it, you know, Skynet decides to, you know, it's not a good direction. Well, that's I the like thing. The, I like they the, fucking went nuts with that. I like Every the, fucking I, I like, movie. I like them to get away from the liquid metal and stick with the actual robots. I mean, I would, like, go back to, you know, stand Winston's, like, puppets. Yeah, definitely. You know, because the way they move, like a Terminator 1, you know... When he was walking down the hallway, you see it was kind of janky, but they they shot it like a cartoon, you know, like one, you know, one, you know, movement at a time. But today that could be done perfect. You got guys in green suits. I'm gonna skip this to the fucking level. This shit took away. Yeah, you can have guys in green suits and still move the Terminator. The way that Terminator moved. It was creepy. It was it, fucking it creepy. Made it because yeah. the first Terminator was like a horror. It was a horror chase movie. Yeah. Horror sci-fi. And then the second one was like a, a superhero save the day, you know. Yeah, with, super with, action. With a, with a teardrop of, of sadness. Ah, uh, no. I didn't mean to push that. Fuck. You know, but it, it's... Just hold on. I'm going to edit this part out because I got to fucking... I'll let you know. Once, once once I choose the chapter, we'll... No, it's fun, dude. It's fun. You fucked up. That's why. It's not fun, that's why, dude. It's that's why they made forever. They, that's why they made Terminators because people like you keep messing up. Yeah, I feel like Morty with the fucking uh, same place fucking body. Yeah, yeah, well, you, uh, yeah. you son of a bitch. You a piece of shit, Morty. You a piece of shit. I can prove it mathematically. It, it's been a long time coming. Let me get my way for it. This is the stuff. <laughs> this is the stuff you need to keep in. <laughs> Don't edit you. You messed up. Uh, but so fuck. what, man? All right, we're just basically shooting the shit and, and you know, playing a seriously horribly outdated Terminator. Yeah, game. it's fucking horrible. And the worst is I can't get it to go after 480i. You like, know? like usually I can upscale this shit to be like 1080p, and it's just like, you know, it's not having it. Like, my, my PS2 yes. is like... No, <laughs> I'll tell you, man, that the Terminator, oh, that easy. Terminator Resistance... <clears throat> that Terminator mm. Resistance is so much fun. I'll go to loading zone. But again, it's like they gotta stick with that first person, I guess, to give you more, more, you know, shock value. But yeah, I don't know. It's man. also, I, I still think if you had an option for third person, it would, it'd still be cool. It's almost better if you get like a fall, the Fallout Three Terminator mod, dude. That is fucking. You ever play that? What Termin uh, Fallout Three Terminator mod? You can fuck it. You have to have it on PC. No. And, I, mean, I think they might have one in New Vegas for the console users, but it turns, like, the robots in the world, like, that shoot you and shit, turns them into T-800s, and, like, uh, the ghouls get turned into, like, uh, these, like, skinny fucking, uh, like, Terminators with claws. It's really fucking cool. Really well done. It makes me, like, I, I don't know, man. And you could switch between, you know, first and third person. Shit, I think the but last... It was, it was uh, fucking badass, dude. They even did one with, like, uh... The last Terminator mod... Raccoon City played, and shit. Shit, the last Terminator mod I played on a PC was Battlefield, like, 1942 or Vietnam. Yeah. And you got, to, you got to turn, you know, you got to put the mod in and change everything over to the futuristic, like, uh, you know... Where you got Techcom versus the mod Terminator. Fuckers. Did, I, did I seriously load into another game? That's fucking... That's what I'm saying. If you would have just got a video, and we could have just sat here and been bullshitting back and forth, because well, you know, this is obviously shows that you can't do two things at once. I can do two things at once. Please, I'm, I'm very do, talented. Whatever you do, please don't chew bubble gum and jerk off at the same time. Yeah, I, I came here to chew bubble gum and kick ass. Yeah, I'm all out of bubble gum. Damn, I that shit. That was. Yeah, I'm surprised. That, I, I I think they actually tried to remake that dude, and it failed. Thankfully. You know, that, that was that was a good ass movie. They they live, I think that's what it was, right? Yeah. I mean they fucking him and uh, Keith David fight in that fucking alley for like ten minutes. <laughs> it's like uncut. They're just yeah, beating the shit out of each other. That was one of Piper's best movies, dude. You fucking use them in the balls, it's like you dirty motherfucker. <laughs> oh, that was so good, dude. Trying to use that Ric Flair shit, man. But yeah, that's that's what I'm saying, man. The, the Terminator, I think people are just tired of the modern times. Not, not only that, but I mean, like they they they're not it's, tired it's, of Arnold. They're not. They, they all wanted. They wanted to see Sarah Connor. They wanted to see Eddie Furlong, Linda Hamilton, Arnold Schwarzenegger. They wanted all of that. Uh huh. <clears throat> I know. I, you know, I, I'm probably going to call this out, and 
you know, I know somebody may share, they might get the James Cameron. I would really like to know if it was really James Cameron's idea to kill John Connor, or if it was, uh, um, what's his name? Tim Miller. Tim Miller's idea. Because if it was James Cameron's idea, I think he, he set Tim Miller up to see if that's the direction that Terminator needs to go. Uh, it wasn't. No. But no, if it was Tim Miller's wasn't. idea, that was a bad call on Tim Miller's end. Well, they they, 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 they both too. they both write it wrote it, so it's like they just agreed. You know, what I mean, he still agreed to it. I think bad idea is a bad idea, regardless. Okay. And, and and the fucked up thing is that they did it. Just and it wasn't even for shock value. I mean, like it was already fucking known by the trailers and everything, because people were asking him after like the third trailer, like, "Where's Eddie Furlong? How come there's no footage of him?" And they're like, "He's in the movie. Don't worry, he's in the movie." And they kept saying that shit, and it's like people were just getting wise yeah, to it they're like yeah he's not in the fucking movie you're gonna kill him off and it was like a spoiled thing before the movie even came out yeah that, that, it, that it was, was just stupid it was a it's a good idea i would have used it but john connor would have lived he just would have been in, in a coma in a mexican hospital and since they didn't have any idea any id or anything on him, like oh yeah since they didn't have any id or anything on him, yeah he would be you know john doe so jd you know, and I, that's where I would have took it. But it would have been I'm cool. Back the first area again. Yes, I am. To have John Connor, you know, Eddie Furlong kill the Terminator that put him in the coma. You know, see the Arnold become the evil Terminator again. Play the, the scary, horrible thing as, you know, he's pushing Sarah Connor and the, and the, the, the squeaker out, out of the way. <clears throat> and, uh, John Connor takes him out with, with a famous line or something, you know, or... Well, the fucked up thing is, is that they were just, they... I don't know. It's like every fucking movie has to try and be like a, a Michael Bay fucking action flick. Like, you know, it, it, it could be just a simple chase movie, just like the first yeah. uh, Terminator. You know what I mean? It's like you don't have to have fucking two military planes crashing into each other. I, I still... You know, you don't need to you're do trying to get away from somebody. Why would you take a big-ass military plane in the first place? Where were they going? Uh, they, they just did it just for the sake of doing it. Were they going to Crystal Peak? I mean, there, there's no, no they're, directions. They're going to Camp Crystal Lake so they could have Jason versus Terminator. No, no it was just stupid because it's like you're, you're, you're going over the top and you don't need to. You know, the same chase would have been cool with, you know, a fucking... Uh, a motorcycle and a truck, you know, it's like, yeah, it's been done before, but another thing is, is that every fucking Terminator movie <coughs> since, since Terminator 2 has been trying to be the next Terminator 2. I don't know if you know this or not, but it's like, Arnold's always good, there's always a liquid metal-esque Terminator, every time, uh, and they just, they're just trying to capture that lightning in a bottle. It's now, two it's go, like, man, you, your you, own fucking here, thing. Here's, here's, now let's take this in a, in a different direction now, because we're mostly just bad. Yeah, we're just fuck, we are bad. Man. But, this is off back on what you were saying, now the last Terminator, and, and you know, just, just to see how people are, are still drawn into it. The last Terminator where John Connor and, and Skynet come face to face, Skynet says, I, I killed people, mm -hmm. or I killed the human race because I didn't want them to deactivate me. Mm -hmm. So John Connor doesn't deactivate him. And they come to a compromise to where they say, look, we could benefit from each other. And now we got humans now walking around. We can have like TV shows or something where military veterans are coming home and they got Terminator arm and a Terminator leg because so, they lost it in war. You know, stuff like that, you know, you know showing that, that Skynet and, and, and uh, you know, humans are, are living together. Dude, they ain't, ain't no TV shows in the post-apocalyptic. But uh, I'm not done yet, man. Let me finish. On that same note, having, you know, now, you know, Skynet working with the, you know, weapons and stuff like that. And then flips at it again. Now, now we're going to have an alien invasion. That's a, a whole other alien invasion take on. <laughs> that's literally what I said in the last video. I'm like, yeah. you'll see a white streak in the sky. Don't you see no more. <laughs> 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 
when you told me before, like that's not a good no, idea. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> I wouldn't use I wouldn't use xenomorphs. I would use the like aliens, kind of like from like Fallen Sky, the TV show that was a pretty good oh, show, man. Fallen Sky. I don't know. I think you just that, that would complicate it way more. And I just think they need to end all yeah, the aliens are, are, are trying movie. to take the technology. They're trying to now. They're trying to take Skynet. Excuse me. They got people that are half machine. They got all machine. And you got an all-out battle right there. You got a whole new movie series, a whole new, you know, or just come up with an alien that's that's like intelligent. Dude, the, people saw that, they'd be like, what the fuck? Now they're putting aliens in Terminator movies? Well, the, at the, like, like I said, it'd be the last film, and it would show that the, the Skynet and, and the humans decided to, you know, let's, <laughs> we're, let's live with one another, we can help each other out. Where Skynet can keep learning and can become more advanced, and at the same time, as, hu as humans are getting a chance now to live longer, as they are doing today, you, you got people now that can, you know, have hands and everything and, and stuff like that. But I'm saying, if you are like, all right, from a logical standpoint of, of the enemy, you know, becoming I mean, you can make it look like a that, future of like cyberpunk, the buildings and everything like that, and then just have like a have another like. Dude, that the world that they're in is not really rebuildable, because yeah. it's like there's it's nuclear fallouts everywhere. The the fact that they're even on the surface fighting is getting them sick. And you know, what, like like I was saying before, like you can't have like say you have a. What are you a, talking about, man? In a future war, dude, they have lost nukes. Uh, I'm saying they can't be fighting on the surface and shit. They're getting like irradiated. What I'm saying is that you can't have Skynet and humanity come to. An understanding, whatever, in the future, because it's like if you had American soldiers versus the fucking Nazis, right? And all of a sudden Hitler was like, "Let's be friends," even though that's like Italian. I don't know why the fuck I did that, but you know, you, you wouldn't fucking trust that dude. Nobody would. You so the human, the human beings you, wouldn't you fucking be like, "Hey, yeah, let's be friends." Like, uh, the, the one game that was really big and, and popular, Mass Effect. Uh huh. You got the one of the decisions where humans and machines got to merge. And it goes through a whole cutscene of how most people are. Yeah, that's forced evolution, though. That's, not, that's saying, not what you're talking it, about. I mean, you get something like that with Skynet, Skynet and humans, man. I think that would be really cool. And then bring in something else. It, it could be either, you know, another, you know, well, shit, they're bringing in Transformers or something. You know, there could be, you know, like Transformer machines come in or some shit. You know, it doesn't, any kind of alien. Well, see, here, here's it my... It doesn't my, really have to be organic. This, this, we're, we're 38 minutes in right now, okay? And I can tell you right now, the one of the two ways, and continue on... This it, actually looks like Dark Fate. A little bit. That's probably where they... Dark, Dark Fate stole a lot of Terminator ideas. You know, liquid metal over the Terminator. Anyway, but the way I see it, Terminator has two paths to go, and continuing on on the franchise isn't one of them. One, they make one last movie to tie everything up, like my idea with, you know... They tie everything all together and end it all off. Final movie, final goodbye. Or, the other pathway is, it's kind of continuing on, but not really, is completely reboot the entire fucking thing from the look, start. Man, I'm saying this, man. If it's they, like if, nothing more if they're, if like they're coming out with, off, make it, look, make man, it if, if they're coming out with another Matrix, you can keep Terminator. Dude, a great it's example of how to, how to keep things going if you know what you're doing and you can do it right. And you have a good story behind it, man. Look at the Fast and the Furious franchise. Oh my God! I mean, it's like now, like you can buy like a, a box set, the Cyclopedia movie uh, library of yeah. just one movie. Yeah, it's like part nine now, like a porno. But the the thing is with that is that it was even itself. Like you, you may not remember it, but I sure as fuck do. Is that Fast and the Furious? People were tired of it back then, and the only thing that really and I hate to say it like this. The only thing that really revitalized that franchise is the death of Paul Walker. People wanted to see him be, you know, uh, yeah, kind of, but Spillner I think, I think when they, when I'm Earl saying, Spillner. When they got, I'm saying, with the stories though, they brought in The Rock, and, and now they're now they're going off in another direction with The, the Rock and Jason Statham. Yeah. You know, it, it's it's. Screen so far. The dark story, the, the story is good. That's what it is. It was, they, they come up with. It's not the same thing all the time. It's, it was something different. You know, it was, there's, there's something different. Now we're gonna have in this newest one. It's gonna be you know Vin Diesel and John Cena. You know, it's, it's I think it's stupid the, shit. 
his long lost brother, which I, I think it could be, it could, it could be done. They don't look nothing alike, dude. I mean, really, if you look closer, man, they, they actually kind of no, do. No, no, they don't. No. Yeah, they do. No. But, you know, it, it's, because <clears throat> they're going to do 10. They said 10 was going to be. like that. They're, uh, they're saying 10 is going to be the last one. That's it's like that. Paul Walker, everybody's going to be in it. That so. Mad TV fucking skit and shit. Lowered expectation. <laughs> It's, 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 it's making millions, though. It's, it, like, yeah, it's but busting millions. It, it's, it's it's like fucking. And this new one that's coming out, it's gonna do just as, it's gonna do just the they, same. They're doing such crazy, stupid shit. Like for for instance, I think I mean, we're still talking about shit from the Salvation. Uh, they're bringing up the, the car that does. Yeah, the, it's does fucking it. like ridiculous. You know, it's, Who it, would fucking do that? You know, I think it'd be funny if they played the Tarzan's boy as the car was swinging through. Oh, the dude, thing. Like, not not to mention oh, the fact oh, that. Oh, 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 the, you the know, fucking, the, just the, plane. the song they played on the Listerine commercial. <laughs> just, just the, the plane picking up the fucking car alone, the John Cena's car was like ridiculous. He's like, they got a magnet plane. Yeah, it's like fucking, and, and and like somehow they don't get out of the car and attach the fucking line to it. It just magically, it, it, it doesn't rip off the fucking fender or tear from the frame. It just, it's like perfect. Everything's <coughs> perfectly done. And it's like shit like that in real life, dude. That don't happen. Don't happen in real life. Uh, that's, that, that, that's what movies are for, man. If it was real, it's kind of like some of Bill Burr was saying. Was, people were crying and whining about some guy who was playing a, a paraplegic. And they're like, oh, why is he playing a paraplegic? Because it's acting. He's acting. He, yeah, if, but if he had a real, real paraplegic, he, there's, there's no nothing there. That's different, though, man. You know what it is. I'm I mean, just saying, man. It's just like they. They're doing all kinds of stuff, man. They're gonna they're gonna do all kinds of stuff. They're, they're gonna do one more. It sounds like they're gonna do Fast and the Furious Ten. They're gonna have, you know come out with uh, Paul Walker's. It's brothers. like so fucking dark. I can't even see where I'm going. That, that's this is your videos. Dude. I I try to tell you this. This is your videos. because uh, it's fine on here. I gotta like fucking Maybe look off the recording screen to see if there's like a door hidden somewhere. You know, it's just like. Yeah, every time I see your videos, it looks like your head's floating. It's like I can be like, da, 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 you know. Well, it's high contrast. Is all it really is. And it's like, I, it's like I'm, I'm I'm editing these on a, a UHD with UHD color, so it's like to me it looks fine. And then I go over to your house where your contrast contrast is turned all the way up, and yeah, I look like fucking. Uh, like uh, PB's Playhouse, the fucking genie in a box. <laughs> you know, I basically, I like to have the settings on my TV to where, uh, and they always ask me in games when I play, I like to where I could just, I could you know, still see the symbol or the, the thing or whatever. You know, I can make out the details. I, you know, on these TV, the TVs you guys set up, I wouldn't see anything. I see this, this right, this right here is, is a certain way because it's like, VGA cables hooked up to an HDMI converter, so it's it's like purposely dark because that's the way the fucking converter works. I look, man, I wouldn't edit this at all. I just let it keep going. Uh, we're at forty-four minutes, dude. That's gonna be long. Well, you know, like I said, you you, you don't do all these all the time. <clears throat> Obviously, we're talking. You're, you're so mixed up, and dude, we were we're, we're fucking just you know. But I'm saying it's there's, fun. There's, there's, people, I don't think there was a co co coherent. Fucking train of, of thought throughout this entire video. We just rambled. People are going to be laughing. People yeah. are going to laugh at this. Cause like, I think oh, people are going to watch it for three minutes and they're like, what the fuck are these guys smoking? They're going to be like, and where man, can I gonna, get some? They're going to be laughing like, man, I yeah. was thinking that same thing, but then they're going to throw in their two cents. And now we got four cents, now we got six cents. Okay. What, what did you smoke? Can I have some? I wish I did have some. <laughs> I wish I fucking did too. What well, might be a Cheech and Chong right now? Oh, come on, dude. Get the fuck up. Yeah, but. Uh, yeah. yeah it's chain it's gun. Crazy. I, I gotta actually go to college. And the camera changes. You believe that shit? Look at that, dude. I gotta do college work. So <clears throat> I haven't done any college work. I was a bit lazy today. Saturday. You know what I mean? Yeah, good. You ain't got no job. Like, every day's vacation day. You know? Yeah, but I only got one thing to do, so it shouldn't take long. It's like the camera fucking sucks. That's probably the one 
fucking thing that really pisses me off. Because <clears throat> they keep the guy in the center of the camera. Or the center of the... Well... <clears throat> the center of the uh, picture. The fucking problem with that is that, like, you know... And out of the way it's cutting out the top. If they would have just zoomed in, maybe one or two... Of the it's like I can't, I can't even get a fucking lock on them. Because they're like, hey, let's shoot the guy as soon as he stands up. Oh, fuck. I can't, yeah, I can't even get a shot. Like, get behind a rock or something, man. No. You gotta shoot out in the open. It's like they make fucking uh, square the shoot button. Man. So it's like you made you made those chicos, man. Is it, they, they ain't working too well. No, no, no. no. I could like behind something, man. Dude, it, it, I, it's like I'm locked in the fucking air. Uh, okay, cool. Each case. Uh, that being behind a rock really helps, Dave. Yeah, it's like the rock is like for it's the rock is at your knees and you're getting shot in the head. Uh, yeah, it's, it's like it locks on, dude. It's it's ridiculous. It really is. It's like I go to HK. It's like the fucking God, man. This game is fucking awful. I mean, man, I go sneak around the corner, and just and sneak out and look at the one and take it out. It, it's if it, if you can see it, it can see you, kind of thing. I'm telling you, dude. It's right. like so cheap. Watch, right there, right there. Watch, watch. I move. Oh, yeah, how can I move and aim, dude? See, I'm saying you got one dude to aim at now instead of three trying to hit you. I got two trying to hit me, and it's like it fucking keeps knock knocking me out into the fucking thing. Move. I can't move, dude. I'm locked in place. That's what I'm trying that, to tell you. See that fence? Yeah, I can't. I, I have to, like, aim. There you go. We got it. There's only one left. You have to be the first person to yeah, shoot? Yes. It's like GTA 3. Dude. I don't remember that. Yeah, I try, I try to tap it, and it's like it won't fucking go. Yeah, I think hopefully I'm fucking done now. Ah, damn. Hey, damn. It's Perry. Perry Mason. This is like the person that rocked That's funny. Play. This shit always crack. Like, you know, these batting things they always got, man. They crack me up, man. Every time I see it, I'm like, damn, like demolition, man. I'm gonna use the cat like that. It's like, get out of first person, you fuck. I can't even see the fucking HK. It's just like, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. shows you're hitting it up in the corner. Yeah, I know, but it's like fucking. Yeah, like, yeah it's like. Meat sauce. I actually liked this at one time. I did too, dude. When I, I was at home and I watched the. Like I said, somebody, they did all the cuts. Cut scenes out. I was like, oh my god, it looks so horrible. It's like every time you hit, it fucking resets the aim. Man. Why the fuck did, did I agree to play this fucking shithole of the game? The frustrations are in this. It's games like this, is why I take Game Shark. I still got a fucking. Uh, that's what I'm using. Yeah, game Shark was crazy. Is that fucking uh, uh, game. or not Game Shark, what the hell was I using? Code Breaker. That's what I used. Man, I love, I love Nintendo, but man, when that game Genie came out, man, that shit was, that shit was fun. It made the game a little more fun. Okay. Can't open the door. Cool. Okay, where the fuck am I supposed to go? Maybe I should actually look, watch those fucking cut screens. You know what? Fuck it. I, 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 uh, I made it. I cleared yeah. it. I'm gonna skip to the last fucking level, and we're gonna end this damn video. There you go. Before I fucking, you know, swing this fucking <coughs> controller around, smack it into my fucking TV. Oh, yeah, we couldn't keep anything really on track. Dude, oh, that, I, I, shit was no, all, dude, shit was we, had, we had, like, no coherent paragraphs at all of dialogue. Uh, it's, it's like we kept playing, like, checkers of, of talking, you know? Like, uh, if, if fucking uh, the AI has to do, like, closed captioning for this video, it's going to be like, what the fuck? You know, it's going to be question marks the whole time. I gotta be like, oh, what the fuck? The words are gonna start mixing <laughs> together because like, we're talking at the same time. Come play with us, Tony, forever. <laughs> I gotta go back to horror uh, games, dude. People love watching me play horror games for some reason. Well, yeah, you, you know? get them jump scares, man. That shit's funny. Dude, I fucking. I, I love playing horror games, but I just can't find that many of them. It's like every other YouTuber you makes try them. the new demo of the Resident Evil Village. I don't have a console. But I'm gonna get that game. 
Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do a long play, and even though I'm gonna be like the, uh, the you know, it like the, it, it's a fake picture of when the hand wasn't on the Hamilton. No, I'm saying it didn't look, it was, the picture of the Hamilton it actually looked like the lady from the Resident Evil Village. Yeah. It was kind of creepy. Yeah. I don't know, I didn't see that, but you know, speaking of which, you know, I actually like, uh, I feel sorry for Ethan Winters. That dude, you know? I don't have any idea. He's, he, he's the protagonist of Resident Evil 7. And he's one of the, he's the main protagonists in this game. Resident Evil 8. Uh, I feel sorry for him because it's like, alright, so the dude's wife went missing. Thought she was dead. He found her. Is it, who's this guy? Is he he's the main character of Resident Evil 7. Oh, okay. Dude, you play as. And he's, he's the main character of Resident Evil 8. But he thinks his wife's dead. I'm already fucking hitting a roadblock here. I don't know where the fuck to go. Uh, thinks his wife's dead. Goes to some fucking backwater town. Finds her. He gets... Or she gets like... She's like fucking... Uh, she's... Uh, you know, infected with this mold shit. Chops off his hand. He gets infected with it. And they're able to put it back on. He gets fucking hunted by all these people. Gets his foot chopped off in my case twice in that story. I had to put it back on and pour, pour some liquid on it, right? Yeah. He escapes with his wife, right? He's living living a carefree life. You know, he's he's all all happied out. You know, he has a daughter. And then fucking uh, Chris breaks into his house, kills his wife. His daughter's kidnapped. He goes to a fucking village in the middle of nowhere. Chris Redfield? No, yeah, Chris Redfield shoots, shoots his wife. And he has to go to a village to try and get his daughter back, right? And he goes there, and he finds that tall lady, and he gets stabbed, like, in the stomach with, like, two-foot-long fucking sword blades. And I feel sorry for that guy. I mean, he's not even, like, a protagonist. He's, like, a sympathetic. Like, I just feel, like, sympathy for the guy. I'm like, damn, that's, that's a really fucked up two years you've been through, man. You'd have some PTSD from that shit. That's kind of, uh... Must be like the new guys that the virus or something. <clears throat> His wife, I guess, start like made that new uh, that molded virus or whatever. She helped develop it. And I think that like they're making Chris like look like he's being like the bad guy in this one. Oh, absolutely. And uh, I think he's actually like you know being uh, orchestrated or controlled by some means. Like they probably got Claire. Or, Something and they're they're fucking saying do what we say or we'll kill her or some shit. <clears throat> well, I'm just gonna say, man, it, I, I think it's better that they're going in this like direction because uh, I'm glad they got away from the uh, Stranger Things, you know, plant phase people. Oh, they're they're still like, did you see the trailer? Like the not the gameplay trailer, but the one that they released not too long ago. It's like they have art. Right, so, and I was kind of pissed off about this before because it's like you have like biological fiction okay so like the way that that the lore of that series is set up it's believable hey there's a virus that hijacks the person's fucking nervous system and all it wants to do is reproduce the virus so that's okay that's cool then there's a a parasite okay yeah that's cool now in this one which is canon they have vampire women that turn into bugs like swarms of bugs and then they could turn back into humans at will it's like I know Marguerite or Marguerite or whatever. She turned into fucking a bunch of different uh, bug, or she turned like into a bug in uh, Resident Evil Seven. But it was like uh, that was a mutation. You know what I mean? Like if you're molded and you're constantly eating bugs, maybe your DNA changes. I don't know. It's fucking weird. Sounds like some John Constantine. It, it is fucking weird, dude. And everybody's like all horned up on them. I don't know what the fucking thing is. They're like, hey. I want to get inside the tall lady's dress. It's like, okay, you want to climb, climb a big woman like a tree, dude, by all means. But it's like, everybody's like, horned up over that fucking character. And I don't, I don't know, dude. I don't get it. I just, I don't fucking get it. I don't know, man. It's like Scary Terry. It's Again, a, going back to like Rick and Morty. It's like a female Scary this, Terry. It's like a long fingers. Man, I, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm a little lost. People, so. people like uh, weird shit now. Yeah, someone's like, uh, yeah, they're, they're trying to make it like the, it, it, I don't know, there's good, so fucking weird about the shit, dude. This is fucking nuts. 
I don't know, it's going off the rails. I know that. Like, it, they always had, like, weird creatures and, you know, like, hunters and even those big-ass uh, fucking mutant dudes and Resident Evil 4 and 5, but it was just, like, you know, it's, it's somewhat believable <clears throat> because they were genetically engineered that way, whereas, like, you know, these girls, are like, turn into swarms of fucking bugs and yeah, was just turn weird. back into humans. It's weird. I and mean, I thought Resident Evil 4 was kind of weird with the the guys walking around talking about driving SUV and... Go ahead, look. Yeah. Go ahead, look. Driving SUV. Driving SUV. Driving SUV. Driving SUV. I'm like, why, why are you want me to drive an SUV for, man? Go ahead, look. Go ahead, look. You know, driving yeah. SUV. You know, like, driving SUV. I'm like, why do I want to drive an SUV, man? And it was it was weird. These guys ain't really helping themselves out at all. <clears throat> this dude's like not even facing. It. He's like, hey uh, man, this is a really interesting it, rock it, I see over here. Kind of like since we're on the Terminator fix, man. It's a, it's the same thing with Resident Evil. The first two were like really good, and after that, just like oh, it shit. just kind of went off the rails. This is annoying as shit. Everything's red. Yeah, I think they just, you know, any, any franchise anymore, I think they just kind of get to a point where they're like, well, we don't want to have people experience fatigue of our franchise or whatever, but it's like, well, if, if that's the case, dude, then do like GTA does and just take fucking breaks, but it's like they can't do that because they're like, well, we don't make as much money as GTA, so we have to fucking put out a new game every two years. And of course, people are going to get fatigued on it. It's like, the cool thing is, is that, yeah, they're remaking the classics. Like, we're sticking on Resident Evil here. You know, they're remaking the classics with two and, you know, one, two, and three. But it's like, you know, now you're getting to the point where you're going to be doing, like, Code Veronica 4, and it's like you're going to be well, double backing yourself. Well, all, you know. here, here's another thing, too. They need to stick to your original way. Hey, yeah. up a little bit. <clears throat> you got, they got to stick to your original way. Hold on a second. When I say original way. It was like fucking with my vision. Like I go to look yeah. over the color and I'm like, wow. Yeah, the same. It's the same. It's just like, you know, when they try and make a movie having to do with what's going on in the world today, you know, it kind of just ruined it. I, that's another thing where people kept saying woke. Woke with the, with the, uh, Terminator, Dark, Dark Fate, you know. Oh yeah, I they, mean, they played. Do, they doing played shit for the sake of doing it is, is stupid. Well, no, they just played played into it for for to draw people in and, and to get to, to you know it's like a story filler, and it, it's the wrong filler. Well, I mean, not not to get into that shit, but it's like uh, one one thing I read I'm this not, week. I'm not trying was, to get. Uh, I'm not trying to get the political, but I'm just saying you know. People are not liking what's going on at the border. And you got a Mexican term. We're going, we're going right into the border. Take off pick. six sci-fi soldiers, but uh, for fuck's sake. And I'm saying, you know, they got the Mexican Terminator taking out the border patrol. You know, because the people are not liking what's yeah, going we on. Don't, that, we, don't, we don't need to get into political But I'm not, I'm not trying to get into political. No, but that, yeah, that's, I, that's, I what that's what they're doing. They're taking like, things, things in the world and they're trying to put them into the film. It's like, man... See, look, looks like the girl from yeah, yeah, yeah. a little bit. But, you know, stay. Movies, a lot of people like to watch because it's not like the world. You know, a lot of people play video games because it's a different world. It's like, hey, I'm, I'm going to play as a person that's trying to survive in the wilderness. You know, and then take on, like, animals and, and other tribes or whatever. You know, it's like it's a whole different thing. And, that, and that's... But I think they should start doing with the games a lot more. I really st I believe that to really draw people in, to really draw them in, is when you can create your own character and make them the way you want to look, you know, make make it, you know, really make the character because it draws people in to to that, to the game, when you get to make your own character. And I, that's, yeah, what I love. That's, that, that's my favorite thing with video games. Is when I get to make my own character, it really draws me to see. Like a lot of people didn't like Cyberpunk, but I got to make my own character, and uh, I, the first time I played, I played how I would be in that time, and then I started being like a really good guy, and I played a really bad guy. Like, you know, then 
I got all the endings. I got the secret ending in Cyberpunk, man. That is the best ending. And it's, it's really it's really awesome. You know, because people are like, oh, man, you know, I don't want to give it away, but getting the secret ending is, is pretty awesome. You got to do certain things, and then when you're up on the roof, and, you know, uh, Johnny Silverman goes, oh, uh, you really scared me, you know that? I thought you were on your way out. And then you, you know, you say a few things, and then you gotta sit there and let the just sit there for five minutes after you, you pick a certain dialogue. And you, I mean, it's literally five minutes, and, <clears throat> and then all of a sudden he changes the dialogue, and it's cool. I mean, you, the, the only thing I'm gonna say, the only giveaway that I'm gonna say about the secret ending of Cyberpunk is, it's you and Johnny going into the thing together. Yeah, you were got you were together through the whole game, now it's you and him going through the whole, the whole ordeal. You know, I, I go through the red screen of death again. It, it was, uh, to me, I, I liked it, it was really cool. And like, I didn't understand anybody's problem with uh, Anthem. I thought Anthem was pretty cool, man, I thought it was fun. It yeah. was, it was they over-promised and under-deliver is what the problem was. And, and like, the, if you go back and look at the, the, uh, the actual gameplay of like E3 and then go like play the game it's like radically different and they did similar shit like Bioware is, is different I know but like Ubisoft when they made uh, Watch Dogs dude like that game when it fucking was announced it was like bad ass looking and then you get the real game you're like what the fuck is this shit yeah I mean it, it, it's it, just they over promise under the that, since you brought that up that's the same thing they did with Terminator Salvation the movie if you noticed in one of the trailers where John Connor is, is face to face with Arnold Schwarzenegger and he's got, you know, Kyle Reese and a girl with him, it actually shows the Terminator bending down, picking up the, the gun and was getting ready to shoot it and, and hits, you know, John, uh, John Connor hits him with the blast and it wasn't even in the movie. Yeah. You know, it's just well, like, cut scene they, content, but they butter you they, up. This, this they fucking, no, yeah, it wasn't even in the, dude, uh, it, it was like, it they, wasn't even, they had, they had even people in the TV. DVD extras, it wasn't even in there. They had people suing them over that shit. Because no, they're like, I, I fucking... But that's the, the one thing I'm, I'm going to say that I, I agree with a lot of people on is that when you put out a game trailer, it needs to come out and look like that. You can't just say, you know, like, they made the explosions look really good, and then when I play the game, I'm like, man, these explosions look like shit. That's where the people are so like, oh man, we kind of this explosion stuff. And then, you know, when you, you know, you hurt my eyes. <clears throat> and then you play the game, and it's like everybody's got this, like, uh, little fires, looks like little campfires. It's like, where's the explosions where it showed things flying and flying away and stuff? But yeah, the, the anthem was where they messed up, is where the, the hand going through the curtain. And now, you know, when you got the game, it was doors you had to push open. I'm hoping now that they, they got you can't even get on Anthem and now. That pisses me off because I spent and, one day in the fucking game. They're they're totally redoing they it. They only let you play like an offline mode. Well they're they're completely redoing the Yeah, but still like thing. you know, you fucking so pay for it. You I'm can't hoping play it. I'm hoping with them doing that that they you know are are re, revamp it's gonna be a whole different game. That, that's what I'm hoping for. When I when I got the thing to go ahead and play I'm hoping that that uh, it's it's a whole different story. It, it, it plays and looks so much better, and I think that's what they're doing. And I, if I, I won't be surprised if they're doing it to where they're going to release it back on Xbox One, but they're also working on it to be for the Xbox Series X. PS5. <clears throat> and if you have it, if you already had the game and you bought it. They're going to give you the Series X for free for because they stopped doing that. That's cool. I, I can I can go with that. I rather you know even with Cyberpunk, I was I couldn't wait. But when they released it, it was so buggy and glitchy. I rather have them keep keep pushing back the date than have them release a game that is nothing like they said it would be. Yeah, that's what all these games are. They're all <coughs> human. They're all. They all look really good. You're like, oh man. And then you get them. They're like, it's all. 
uh, cheapy, cheapy, you know, g generic. Well, the problem is, is that they're they're making them like for all the consoles. You know, with you the know, really so, so you have you have like the original Xbox, Xbox Series S, Xbox One X, and then now you have the Xbox. If there was uh, any kind of way, X and the if Series I had X and any X's. kind of money, one thing I would love to do is <clears throat> bring back Game Pro. Yeah, Game Pro magazine, even just in digital form. Yeah. Would be cool. <clears throat> No, no, you can have them. I think Game Pro still looks at it for a smartphone. No, it's Game, it's game, game, game Informer now, though. No, game Pro's gone. <coughs> game Informer's something or somebody else. But. <coughs> fuckers. Excuse me. But I would love to bring back your good gaming magazine. And, you know, uh, put out put out what they're doing. Saying, like, we, we want to, you know, they could, you know, stop. Stop putting out dates that you're going to release a game. You know, just start saying the third quarter, fourth quarter, first quarter. These fucking things just keep coming back. You know. And then, when you know the game is done, then, you know, come out with a new trailer and, and a day. A day, a date, a then. But I, I'd say stop putting out dates for when games are coming out. Instead, like I said, bring back the Game Pro magazine and start showing new footage, new clips, oh, new, new game shots, you know. Pe people want, people just want to see, see it, but, <clears throat> you know, they can have, you know, of course, like you said, the, the PDF, you know, page in your, in your smartphone, or, or some people just like to collect the magazine. I always like to collect the magazine. I, I still, to this day, Wish I would have collected the Nintendo Power magazines. I would love to bring that magazine back. I would love to see the fucking. Where I would love where to all see where coming from. For for me, I would love to see um, Nintendo come back. You know, they I got the Nintendo Switch, man, but it's just like you're just making it a, a you know a laptop or a lap screen or whatever or a tablet. Tab you know, I'm like, come on, man, don't do that. You know, it's like every time I get that number on the left there down to zero, another fucking enemy pops up. And it's like I gotta keep six people alive. Watch another, another number. Oh, heck yeah. You did I go off the fucking red screen now. You did it. Shit, man. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't let, the, I, let this go, man. Let this, let this video go. Don't edit it. And, and let, you know, this is, you know, raw footage. This is, this is fun. If, if, if people don't like it, then... You know, then we'll, we'll we'll come up with something else. But this is something you don't want to do all the time. This will probably be like a once in a month type of thing. As soon as this game's over, the video. This is, I'm already at an hour and nine minutes, dude. So it's gonna it's gonna be a, a big fucking video file. It's all right. Like I said, you don't do this all the time. But, you know, if, if people like it, you know, maybe we'll you know we'll either do it once a month or or do it quarterly. You know. A little quarter of it, like every three months. Or I, I did an hour long video before, but I did it with the uh, the uh, Wolverine. Yeah, I was kind of cool to see that. I had that game. Yeah, that was probably one of the better licensed games. I'm gonna do the Punisher too here in a little bit. Which one? The one that was on PS2 where you could uh, you throw the rifle in the dude's arm and stab him in the face. Yeah, that was good. That was a good one. Tom Jane does the voice. So do, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that video probably. I'll this speak weekend still. Speaking of Tom Jane, I would love to see him come back as the Punisher. What the hell is he not uh, the hot? Where's that sky now? Uh, it's, it's just a fucking thing. Things are getting cheeky now because we're at the end game. It's like it changed weapons and I didn't even ask it to. Uh, I'm just, like I just said, man, I, I would love to, the magazines need to come back. They need to bring back the magazines. They don't have so many, you know. Nintendo Power and, and Game Pro. Game Pro covers everybody. We use this fucking Ghostbuster gun. Yeah. But that was that was a cool thing, man. I I really wish I would have held on to those Nintendo Power magazines, man. They, it was cool. They were cool. This fucking sucks, man. Canister bombs. Eat one. All day. Tasty. Delicious. Full of iron and vitamin C. <laughs> Here, have three. Uh, 
differences. <clears throat> I'd just like to see some things come back, man. I think that this, you know, uh, fucking, you know, selective backwards compatibility is played out, dude. It's like either, you know, have everything be playable or, you know, just make it not playable at all because it's not really fucking cool to have, you know, people have libraries, dude. Consoles, they fucking die out. You know what I mean? Consoles die out. And it's like, you know, you can't always get another one uh, as easily. So it's kind of kind of shitty that you have to, like, you know, oh, I got to break out this console. And, you know, my TV doesn't have any VGA, so I got to go get a fucking special adapter. And, you know, it, it's just, it's kind of bullshit. It's like you should just fucking... Uh, you know what I think they should bring back to, man? You know, you know, I'm sitting here thinking about some other shit as you're destroying Terminator. They, they should bring back the, uh, the movie store, man. Movie store like Blockbuster? No. See, the thing with Blockbuster is they didn't want to switch things up when, when the time came. You know, it's like... I'm, sorry, I'm not saying like I want to make movie theater. Or not movie theater. But, uh, make, uh... Yeah, I bring back the classic movie store with the games and uh, and, the, and the movies. People, like Friday night, man, they're like, man, let's go to the movie store. And, and there's people still out there that would do that if they could. Yeah, because, I mean, like, there's, there's fucking blockbusters are still around. They're popular. Well, there's, there's only one more that's left open. Yeah, it's popular as fuck. And that's what I'm saying. If I had one here, you know, I, I could... going to use this fucking baton. <clears throat> I don't know. I think people would still come around, you know? Because everybody now, I think, you know, what really messed up Blockbuster, like Netflix and, and the, the Red Box machines. And if, if uh, Blockbuster would have got on at Blockbuster machines, you know, I, I think to me what happened is uh, the same thing that, you know, almost happened to Walmart. You know, it's like everywhere you go, there's a Walmart. It's like everywhere you go, there was a Blockbuster. And I think they overextended themselves. And I think the same thing was happening with Walmart. You know, like, we're in this town. Oh, I got sure. this whole thing, man. Fuck me. Let me see. I think, what, we're in this town. We got, like, five or six Walmarts. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, there should be, I, I could say, four max. You know, north, south, east, east west. Fine. You, you're going to do great. And then you're sitting there, and they sit there and they complain, well, we're not, our stocks ain't that good. Well, that's because you got 82 of them in one little area. You know, just make four. It's just, I think you got, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like five or six, and it's like way too much, man. Where the fuck is this? If, you had, if they had two Walmarts, those two Walmarts would be banking, but it's like they keep building them. Oh, look at all this land. We're going to build another Walmart. I mean, that was a joke for a while when, it, when we're, you know, <clears throat> not trying to get political, but whenever. When they did the, the wars, they had war. Oh, they're going to go over there and not make a parking lot. The other guy would go, no, they're going to go over there and make one other Walmart. It's like a random fucking corner of the wall that they made <coughs> this fucking computer at. You know, it's just, that's what I like to see. I like to see the two magazines come out, one or one decent magazine. I'd love to see Nintendo Power come back. And uh, I, 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 the movie store, man, I think we need the movie store back. Don't know which way to go. It's like they have a little blinking thing on the fucking uh, on the map, but it's the only one you get like within view, and the camera's no help, no help at all. So I'm running. Yeah, I beat this. I beat this game quite a bit, yeah, quite, quite a few times. Know, shit, not quite a bit. That's where you came up in the elevator. Uh, fuck me. No, I came from. I guess I gotta go out the same way I came in. Is, is what I'm assuming. Camera angle changes and shit. It's like, show me where I'm running, motherfucker. Show me where I'm running. It's like, okay, this is blinking, so I'm assuming I'm supposed to go through here. Ow. <laughs> Crispy, cracking knees. But yeah, it's just, uh, like, when I, when, I, when I start doing my videos, man, I, I wanted to do everything. I think I just, you know, I wanted to do the, the training and the, the diets and the, the, 
the weightlifting, the, the video games, and the shooting guns going on here. And now it's just like, man, I don't want to do anything. <coughs> well, I wouldn't mind, you know, starting up my own game channel, but it's like everybody's doing that. Yeah, it, it's kind of hard to be. I'm a, I'm a very small drop in a very big pond. And I try to do things to uh, set myself apart, but it's like, you know. I'll do this video, man. It's gonna be probably an hour, hour and a half long video, and I'll get like four views. You know, that's how it'll work out. We'll put it on, you know, the face of book. I do. I have like fucking twenty groups on on the part of the book of face. Book of face. Who knows? I was gonna say that, yeah, but uh, well, what the fuck? Star Trek characters. You guys are in the wrong franchise. Or Red, Red Skull. He must be assimilated. I thought maybe had to destroy these. Th what the hell? I thought he was getting ready to play football or something. Uh, uh, like. C4. That's, all I that's, all, that's, all, that's what I used. I used the bat on the Terminators. Like the shooting was just like a waste of time. You could bash the shit out of them. I remember you getting like bashed in the shooting or something. Bash it! Bash it! They're, like, they're gonna keep coming, so you're gonna have to bash the machine. Oh, it doesn't let me lock on the fucking machine. I think you have to hit the glass window or something. There you go. Fuck. This is gonna be great. Come on. It's gonna be like this, huh? Fuck off. Six pack cluster bomb. Something about C4. Dude was saying, I don't have no fucking C4. Canister bomb. I just blew myself up. Cool. That is great. Is there somewhere you gotta collect it in the middle? I can't remember. It's been a long time since I did this. Maybe we gotta do each one or something. Yeah, uh, you gotta open them up. Open up every single one, I guess. Stop. What really sucks is like every time he gets hit, he like either falls or he like stops cold yeah. for like two seconds. Yeah, I think that's all of them. Slide. Just as no one. When you knock him down, you use the bat to hit him. You did it there on accident. You don't get back up. That's why I was, I was always beating the crap out of him with the bat. Okay, try swinging at the glass. Yeah, hit him. Hit him when you knock him down. Tag him when you hit him. So oh. he's already dying. 
I got maybe I gotta push them all up. I don't know. These fucking early two thousand games, man, they they kill you. push it. I go up, I push it again, I just go down. So I on the top. I need an electric triangle over. Well, triangles will bring me up and down. Can you be the first person in that triangle? C4 and all four of the fusion cores simultaneously. Okay, well, how the fuck do I do that? I don't have any C4. Terminator, where you can play, you know, as Techcom, you know, make your own character, showing you go. Well, they made that. Well, I was that was a Battlefield yeah. model, wasn't it? Well, I'm saying make your own person, you know, make your own your own guy. And, well, they kind of did it with uh, Resistance. Resistance is a really good Terminator, but the the music and the sound effects is like right on. That, that's that's the best. But if you were able to make, you know, third person, you know make your own guy and and you know the story would you know have your part of the story time and travel eventually merge in scouting the area has so I guess I gotta go out the corridor if I can see where the fuck that is there it is you know I just like I, I like Terminator 2 for Nintendo <laughs> You know, I, I cannot beat that fucking game to save my life. I've I beaten so many times. Okay, apparently I can't go this way. Fuck me, man. This shit is like, you know, let's add stuff in just to be, uh, just for time sake. You got C4 on all four of them? Yeah. I'm not supposed to blow them up yet, though. I'm supposed to go travel through time. So I gotta go to the, probably, because there's three, there was three doors when I first started out. I went through two of the three already. So I gotta go through the last door, and I'm guessing that's probably the end of the game.
Man, this is ridiculous. But yeah, there's one I want to get the, uh, I saw. There's a terminal yeah. right in the middle there. He's in the middle. Yeah, but it's, you know, it's probably like stuck inside. I think you gotta hit each computer or something too. No, I gotta go through this final terminal door. I wanna say it's this one. Nope. No, it, because the, the, the oh, terminal. Oh, I gotta go through the top, the, the thing. Forward defense grid, I've been to there. It's like, fuck, man. I gotta turn around, go through another fucking load screen. Well, at least it's not like Fresh and Evil where you gotta keep looking at a door. I'd rather see a fucking door. <laughs> yeah, because it's like at least gives you something to look at. Now it's like loading central shaft. You can suck my central shaft. Right? If they did that for a loading screen, it's like, man, why? Why, why, why do that for a loading screen? Hopefully. It's like they would cool to, to label yeah, these. Time they, this place would change. So when you walk up the steps, do. Dude, dude. I was like, oh, come on. Well, I had to load, dude. I mean, they didn't need to do that with, like, Outbreak. You know, like, where the shit was loaded like you're online. It's like, I don't know how you could go through this fucking place without getting lost. It's like a maze with no sign. Well, I guess it's, like, not designed for people, so. Yeah, 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 but, you know, it's only happens at certain times. That's just when you knock them down. It's the, the Terminator story is like a really awesome story, man. It's this, you can now just, you know, see how bad people can mess up something good. And they keep, well, the, the problem, like I said, man, they keep trying to fucking recapture uh, the, the, the greatness of, of uh, Terminator 2. It's supposed to be Arnold with a goatee, I guess. Looks like uh, uh, Big Papa Pump. <laughs> WCW and Buff Bagwell. Buff Bagwell, <laughs> <Bagwell. laughs> Buff Daddy. He's buffing the stuff and the girl can't get enough. Oh, fuck. Just skip it. I guess that one dude with the ball time travel. Like, disabled bio for the tattoo on his face. I guess he's supposed to be uh, Mikey Tyson. Uh -huh, maybe. maybe. You're supposed to get in the middle of yeah, it says disable biofilter. Whatever the fuck that is. Uh, There's a force field over there. What's that? Hit that. Uh, this force field's around the dude. I got it like. Okay, the door's not blinking, so I'm not going to go through it. I learned my lesson on that one before. It's giving me. There we go. Okay, so I guess maybe I shut all the doors. What the fuck? Really getting tedious with the shit. Can I see where I'm going? Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, they're they're behind. Shit. Damn, dude. Why can't I just walk into the middle? This door is blinking, so I'm gonna go through this one. Fuck's sake. Yeah. Yeah, this game is just hella yeah, tedious. Disable the biofields there, I gotta go. Hurry, I'm gonna start behind the time builder there, man. We'll be one way out. And then the Skynet mainframe destroyed it. This would be the Skynet mainframe, I would assume. Yeah, there's something you gotta do to lower it down, and it's up in there. What do you call it? That door's not blinking. Shoot the terminals. 
terminals or anything. There's nothing to lock onto. So it's not the terminals. There's, a, there's some way you gotta bring it down. That worked out great. Is there something down below that can go on the outside? First person look in. See like a little glimpse of a light up top. Around the corner a little bit. Man, this is getting like tedious as shit. I don't know, I think it might have glitched out on me. Sega Genesis, that's where you had the, not Sega Genesis, yeah, Sega Genesis. Super Nintendo. Yeah, the Sega Genesis, you had to blow up the fusion reactor. It goes out this way. It's like it, it blinks on the map, showing you where to go, but there's no, no blinking when you get to this central shaft, because the game's trying to shaft you. So this uh, last, like, fucking... I remember something, there was something that had to come down. Yeah, but it's like it says you gotta go in through the, one of these fucking doors, and, and, you know, lower the shit, so it's like... You can't just be get to the fucking objective and complete the objective. It's like, oh, we gotta make you backtrack to the first fucking place you're at and do all this other useless bullshit and the fucking doors blinking, so I gotta go back out that way. God damn. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Watch the whole time it was it was inside that room that I left. You know, the answer was inside the room the whole time. Thirty-three minutes. Holy shit! Well, even that door's blinking, so it's like, where the fuck do I go then? It's like it doesn't tell you if you find uh, one way to release them. If you find the Skynet mainframe, destroy it. Mainframe. Where the fuck is the mainframe? It's like the door's blinking when I first walked in. So where the fuck is the mainframe? Is it the thing I put fucking C4 on? Yeah, that might be it. Yeah, I... just fucking in this video <clears throat> at 140 if I haven't figured it out dude it's just you know we can always look up the ending online yeah. you know like it's just, just not fucking worth it did you blow the C4 yet no well you're not supposed to like it's it's you don't have the option to I guess maybe if there's C4 in here I could put that in the central shaft and blow it. I, I don't know what the fuck. I figure, I figure this would probably be it. So I remember this is a fusion core though. This isn't like the mainframe. I don't know where the fuck the mainframe is. I don't know how to get back. Unless it's down here. This might be where the mainframe is. But there's not really a fucking door here. Bombs, and I don't know what the fuck to do. Yeah, aim the launcher at the middle piece. <laughs> See what happens there. Yeah, fuck it, I guess I have to. 
right there. It, it fired. Yeah, that's not the. That's not it. I'm just saying, fire a launcher at it to see what happens. Like I said, I, for, I forget. It could be something just, just that simple. Just a fusion core. It could be the smaller tanks. Turn it on so I run faster. That's just fucking annoying, man. Uh, I'm gonna try this. If this ain't it, then uh, that's all she wrote. Locking on to something. Shoot the lights. I'm just curious. Like, you got a gun or something that can shoot the. This is where we're going to end this video because we don't have anything else to talk about and I, I don't know where the fuck else to go so I uh, I thank you all for liking and subscribing click that bell you know all this stuff but uh, that's all we have for you take care have a good weekend and we'll see you in the next one Deuces. bye Deuces.